Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this animated poster entirely in Photoshop. This is a post of mine from a couple weeks ago that went crazy viral on Instagram and I'm going to show you exactly how I made it. We're going to start off with our base image and uh, I want my video to go inside the basketball hoop or ring or whatever you call it. And I'm going to do that by grabbing my pen tool. You can also do the curvature pen tool if it's a pretty simple shape like this. And I'm just going to make a rough selection and then fix it up later. I'm going to press A on my keyboard to get um, the direct selection tool. This kind of works like an illustrator that if you click, you'll get your point selected. And you can add it the little handles and all that good stuff. And I'm going to go in there and fix all the little mistakes. All right, once we're pretty happy with the result, we are gonna click on the selection. I'm gonna give it zero feather radius. And then I'm just going to click on the layer mask. That'll make a layer mask. I want the opposite. So I'm just gonna press Command I to invert it. Now, what we can basically do is underneath our image, just drag and drop your video, the video that you want to put in there. I'll go with this beach. Resize it and place it wherever I want. Now the important thing to know is when you're working with videos in Photoshop, the important thing is that it always remains as a smart object. So do not ever rasterize it. Um, all the rest you can do, you can add any type of crazy effect, gradient maps, um, half tones, as long as it stays as a smart object, it's still gonna be seen as video. So how can you watch the video? You're just gonna go to window and select timeline. Um, it's basically going to show either this or it's gonna show a little window um, where it says create timeline video or create frame animation. If you get the create frame animation, there's a little arrow next to it. You can click on that and select create video. Um, and then you'll get exactly the same thing as I have. It works like a Premiere Pro timeline. So it's pretty cool. You can, you have your, uh, these are the seconds. Uh, let's say we want it to be 10 second long. You can just click drag to the 10 second mark and you can do the same thing. So drag out your image and that's basically it. You could just press the space bar to play it and it'll take a little bit to render, but you get the idea. We're now going to make all the other edits. So you're kind of going to see also what you can do with these crazy effects. So what I'm going to do, I want to, I want there to be more contrast between the background and the video that's in the hoop. Um, so I'm probably going to try to darken the background a little bit and kind of make it night-ish. So you can easily do that by not, and not go crazy but by just going to the adjustments panel over here and scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll find the color lookup um, here where it says load 3D LUT. We're going to click and select night from day. It'll basically darken up your image and kind of turn it into night. I'm going to add a clipping mask to, the, to this because I don't want it to affect our video layer. So just hold down the op, alt or option key and click wherever you get these to this little icon. And there we go. Um, last thing I want to do is add some stars in the back. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, I love to add some stars in my background. So I'll just drag and drop a noise and grain texture 
and make sure to drag it all the way out. Otherwise, if you have it like uh, going to up to like four seconds, you'll see them and then you're not gonna see them anymore. So make sure they end all at the same time if you want them to end all at the same time. So I just added this. I'm just gonna change the blending mode to something like screen or a lighten. And I'll make this into a clipping mask as well because we don't want it in there. I'm just gonna duplicate it and flip it on the other side. And as you can see, we have a little messy thing over here. We're gonna fix that. You can just drag them left, right till you have everything properly aligned. And um, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Um, if you play it back, you have a pretty cool animated poster inside of Photoshop, uh, which I think is pretty amazing. You can also add your text and all the other stuff obviously later, but this is the basic. To export it, just go to this little arrow on the bottom left of your screen. You can click on it, it's gonna render your video. And here you have all of the render options, so you can name your file, select the folder you wanna save it into. Um, I usually go for size, uh, same as my document size, but if you want a different size, you got all the options over here. Format, high quality, medium quality, and all that stuff. So you get all your options there. When you're happy with it, just click on render. It's gonna load for a little bit, and depending on how complex and how many layers you got going on, it's gonna take a little while. Um, if it's this something this simple, it's not. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to comment if you have any tutorial suggestions or requests. Also, go follow me on Instagram. I post daily designs over there and I'm on day 900 and something, so pretty far along. I would appreciate if you took a look at those too. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!